Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another manga haul video for the stuff that arrived way too late. This was supposed to be last month's haul, but here we are, it's March. It's been a couple crazy months with a lot of shipping delays. Some have been extremely frustrating, which is why I haven't done videos at a quicker pace, but you don't care about any of that. You just wanna see the haul, so let's get started. First two books that we're going to mention here are Viz Media releases. We got In the Name of the Mermaid Princess, Volume 1. I reviewed this in a reading vlog. Really enjoyed this series. A wonderful seven-volume shoujo series about this girl who is a mermaid-human hybrid and lives in this world where discrimination runs rampant in this kingdom. She is the princess, and the kingdom does not want the people to know that she is this mermaid creature, so they're trying to hide that fact. But ultimately, she's going to free herself and want to educate others in the kingdom to respect the uh, monster hybrids that live in this realm and possibly lead them to a better future. I really like the art on this one. Highly recommend it if you're in the mood for a solid mermaid series. Next up, we got Frieden Volume 10, Beyond Journey's End. I have to admit, I am not up to date with this. I think I'm like five volumes behind, and then I just concentrated on watching the anime, which has been stellar. And now here we are with 10, which is great because the anime is wrapping up. So now I can continue my journey with the book instead. From Square Enix, I reviewed on the channel Smoking Behind the Supermarket with You. Here is Volume 1, a really nice, adult, funny, slice of life series about these two characters who have somewhat pessimistic outlooks on life and how by fate have met up in this corner at the convenience store to share and also find some friendship and wholesomeness in each other. From Titan Manga, we have Alpi, The Soul Sender, Volume 2. I really did enjoy Volume 1. I am looking forward to talking a little bit more about this book because I think it shows promise, although the first one was more about getting to know Alpi and the Soul Sender occupation, if you will, and we barely scratched the surface of the world that she inhabits, so I'm very much looking forward to this book here. Also from Titan, we got The Great Yokai War, Guardians, Volume Volume 2 out of 3. Really excited and I'm looking forward to continuing the story here. This is a wonderful series if you like fantastical shonen adventures with yokai lore. This is a wonderful tribute to that and at this point I might as well talk about all three volumes when they come out and give you my thoughts on the overall series in my reading vlogs. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we got Sawada and the House of Monsters Volume 2. You might remember that Volume 1 was my favorite read of 2023. There were many great books last year, but this one just spoke to me. I really enjoyed the overall message. The art is super lovely, and this just continues that trend. Also from Seven Seas, I got my hands on Yokohama Kaida Shikiko Volume 4. I haven't gone back to read Volumes 2, 3, and 4, but I will do so now that we're only one book away from finishing, and I can do a proper series overview, I guess, for this one. Uh, really looking forward to that. I love the art here. This is the perfect cozy book to read on a Sunday evening when you've got nothing else to do and you just want to relax and just prepare for the hectic of the week. I think this is officially the most books I've gotten from Yen Press in one month. Here we have God Bless the Mistaken, something that I've been wanting to read for a while. And spoilers, uh, that video is coming out right after this one, so look forward to it. I love this concept of this unknown uh, exceptional phenomena, commonly known as bugs, and you have two characters that are investigating it. You got Kasane, who is the landlady for our main protagonist, Kon Wataya. The two of them are going to tackle this Subject. This is a four volume series, so I love when we get short, interesting books like this. Great for the shelf. I also picked up Whoever Steals This Book. We have the character of Mifuyu, who is a descendant from a long line of book collectors. She is a high school student who is surrounded constantly by books, and her great-grandfather established a library at the heart of the town, so this is a very book-centric city. But there's one problem, and that is Mifuyu, who hates books. A thief triggers an ancient curse, and that is going to lead our protagonist to reclaim the stolen books by entering the stories she hates so much. Oshinoko Volume 5. 
I hate the fact that the spine is all black. I mean, this cover looks amazing, but it really wreaks havoc with my tick of seeing consistency across all the different spines. But nonetheless, excited to have this. I really enjoyed the Oshinoko anime, which made me want to pick up the manga and continue the story from there. I've heard some conflicting reports as of late with the current chapters, but I didn't want to spoil myself. So eventually I'll get there and probably be furious like everybody else. Kowloon Generic Romance Volume 6. Now, I have to admit, I am not up to date with this whatsoever. I think the last one I read was either Volume 2 or 3, so I really do need to get back on this. I genuinely loved what I've read so far, so I want to continue the story. I probably shouldn't even be looking at what is happening in this book because it's probably a spoiler, but I do want to show you the art a little bit. Now this next release was highly anticipated. It got delayed a bunch of times, but here we are. I finally have in my hands the B Strings manga release. This is an all-in-one complete series, full colored edition, and I have some interesting thoughts about it. I do want to talk about it in a video, one of my reading vlogs, but just know that this is similar to other anthropomorphic stories like Zootopia or B Stars, not as dramatic or funny as as those but still it has enough charm to set it aside and create something a little bit different we have sort of short stories set within this city that has a ton of lore with fascinating characters Tales of Wedding Rings, I not only picked volume two out, I picked three and four. I'm showing you some of the pages here. I like it. I understand that it's not the best thing in the world. This is a harem seinen fantasy action series, more heavy on the comedic side of things and the fantasy fan servicey stuff, less on the action. I love the character designs and I love the aesthetic of this world. The fact that it's heavily in inspired, even though they're not going to admit it, by things like Lord of the Rings is hilarious to me. So long story short, I picked up volume four from the Bezos website, and unfortunately that arrived damaged as you are seeing here. It was sealed brand new. From what I gathered, the seal broke mid somewhere in the process of shipping, I should say, and I guess water or moisture got in there, damaged the back of the book, or at least half of the book is all wavy and crooked. I tried my best to dry it out and flatten it. I asked for a full refund and I did get it. So that's cool, I guess. I, I, I should have maybe have gotten a replacement, but whatever, I got my money back. So free copy, if I don't look at it enough, it's not that bad <laughs> but yeah this sucks I, I hate the fact that it's a multi-billion gajillion dollar company and we have issues like this this should not be from Kodansha, we have a bunch of stuff as well. We got Inspector Volume 19. I went ahead and got this, even though I'm not up to date with my reading for Inspector, simply because I didn't want the hassle of having to get this later. I might as well just keep going and be up to date with the releases for it. I recently talked about this along with two other Kodansha books that are featured here in this haul video. We got Nude Model and other stories from the same creator as Blue Period. This was really interesting, really sensual, and erotic and kind of dangerous. This was a really fun, awesome short story collection. A, a tad not safe for work, but I do recommend it. One of my favorite reads recently was Past the Monster Meet My Lady. Here we have volume two of that, continuing that series. Love the art on this. I think this is a quirky romance series with the whole twist of food manga, but it's actually monsters that are being eaten. So if you like stuff like Delicious and Dungeon, but you want more of a romance fantasy epic, then you're in luck with Past the Monster Meet My Lady. Magic Knight Ray Earth, here we have part one, volume two. I'm a big fan of the original anime and I wanted to grab the hard covers, like I mentioned last time, a little bit out of my price range, but these smaller editions are just right for the price. And it's not a huge commitment. It's gonna be what, six volumes total to have the full series. Sugumi Project, volume four. This is an awesome action-packed series. I made a standalone first impressions video if you want to check it out on the channel. Really enjoyed that one. And I'm looking forward to unveiling more of the mysteries and seeing all these mutant animal hybrids that the main cast is encountering here. 
Bloodblade Volume 1. I also talked about this on the previous reading blog. This is a fun, action-packed monster series about a reincarnated Dracula as a katana-wielding vampirus. That is my favorite tagline to say in 2024. It's so absurd that I cannot help but love it. And finally, we got A Kingdom of Quartz, Volume 1. Also talked about this on the previous reading vlog. This is a wonderful series about angels and demons and one girl's journey to surpass expectations being an orphan by becoming this angel and protecting the kingdom. Blue is such a wholesome, nice character that you can't help but immediately root for. And I cannot wait for Volume 2. Easily one of my best pickups this month. As for the anime purchases, we got one Blu-ray release that is a dual Parallel Trouble Adventure. This is brought to us by Discotech Media. It aired back in 99, but I think I saw it a couple years later on, oh my gosh, I'm dating myself here, on the, I think it was called Anime Unleashed from Tech TV. Before that got transformed into G4. I was a huge fan of Tech TV, not so much G4, so I love that they had an anime blog. I think it was on Friday nights. That led me to discover series like this. Dual Parallel Trouble, if you guys don't know, this is set in the distant past of the Tenshi Muyo universe, so it is part of the Tenshi-verse. This is exciting, I love it. I hope this opens the door for more of the Tenshi stuff to get brought back, remastered in Blu-ray. I know we had some Funimation releases, but those have long been out of print and really expensive. So I hope, like I said, this opens the door for that. So that is going to be it for this haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have more reading vlogs on the way and some special videos as well. Look forward to that. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for all the likes, all the comments, people subscribing. It truly does mean a whole lot. Thank you so very much. If you want me to talk a little bit more about any of the products shown in this haul video, let me know in the comment section down below. But do keep in mind that I do have those reading vlogs where I include a lot of the new releases. So yeah, as of recording this, I'm already working on the other vlog so stay tuned for that one <laughs> thank you everybody nonetheless stay safe god bless i will catch all of you on our next video